Hello y'all. Welcome to part 11 of my Georgia Stalin Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Kaiser Redux. In part 10, the partition of the Ottoman territories took place. Also, we attacked Armenia, which resulted in a war with Iran, since they and Armenia are in the same faction. Currently at this point, we have reached the Iranian capital, and we're hoping to capture it soon. For some reason, the Iranians keep putting tons of troops on the border of Kurdistan because I guess they think they'll eventually join the war. We're not going to invite them at all, though. There's no chance of us doing that because it would open up an, an unnecessary, well, an unnecessary front for us to fight on. So they're just, I don't know, they keep staging troops there. They can keep doing it. I'm not complaining, but it's just an observation. Now, let us unlock die bombing. We don't even have a navy, I mean an air force. We don't have sky boats. So now... Take these units here, move them, move them around and circle these militia troops in this area. Yes, they can't escape. Just make sure they can't escape. Just destroy those militia. Get that done. Force them back. And they may be able to retreat before we're able to encircle them. They were. How tragic. Let us start researching something new, like close air support. HA-137 is what we're going to be researching. And the Union of South Africa declared we're in Goringia. Because it can, we encircled the unit successfully there, and we also lost a province. Well done. Okay, guys, do better. Just perform better in combat. Win more battles. We gotta capture more and more land. I know it's not fun, necessarily, but we just gotta keep winning. And how's equipment doing? We need far more artillery. Should I take out artillery in my divisions? We can't make enough of it fast enough. We can't do it. We simply can't do it. As much as I'd like to make more artillery, we can't get there. It just cannot be made at a fast enough speed. Can you take that province? Hurry up. My goodness. Give this guy a trait. Give this unit leader maybe skirmisher. Do that. That is done. Hopefully that's not going to be a mistake or anything. But it's done now. Push here. Take that province. And I think once we beat Iran, the thing I will miss the most probably is the edited... Well, the photo of the... The portrait of the leader of the... Socialist Federation of the Gulf, who's a puppet of Iran, and clearly it's like an edited photo of George W. Bush. I think it is, anyway. Who uh, I could be wrong. Maybe they just look like George W. Bush, who was in our timeline. Uh, well, historically in our timeline was a... Well, is, well, is, was a president of the United States. Well, was the president of the United States. And can we just advance here? Come on. Breakthrough. I may need to change the frontline system a little bit, just to recognize the new reality of the war. Since when I made that initial offensive line, we hadn't pushed as hard into Iran as we have now. Don't make that line with Kurdistan. Don't do that. I don't want to spread my divisions out too much. Don't do that, please. There we go. So grab all this land here and start up a new offensive and push towards Shiraz because that was like the capital of Iran at this point. And hopefully that will be what we need to do because I just want to win this war as fast as possible. We need to do it. Come on. We've destroyed like two or, I guess, two or three divisions. We need to keep doing what we're doing and just punch through, smash apart their lines with the best soldiers Georgia can offer. And even though we're having a little bit of supply issues, it looks like. Here's some Lindleys from the Turkish Commune. Thank you. And we have, take this Turkish Commune division here, transfer them to, just request the forces and transfer them to Army 1, which is the Georgian Army right now. And when we carved up the Ottoman Empire, Syria received Cyprus. I'm just saying this because Greece itself, like Greece proper, has been like completely taken over by the Socialist Republic of Italy. Or just, yeah, the Socialist Republic of Italy has just occupied it. And now, fortunately, the Greeks have, they have Cyprus to fall back to. Because if they didn't, they'd been, they would have been forced to surrender a while back now, I think. So can we keep pushing here? Back on topic, focus here, take this province, take more of the, I guess, northern part of the country. Maybe pin down these soldiers here, get an encirclement going. Please, just trap them, take more provinces. Let me go ahead and deploy this division here, so that brings us up to 24 units in all in this main army. So that's a full army at this point. And hopefully with that supplemented, those Ottoman militia units, well not Ottoman, but Turkish Militia supplementing our troops that could give us the edge we need here. There's also some Mountaineers they sent us, but we requested them, so that's nice. 
keep pushing and circle these units make sure they don't escape please that'd be great just annihilate them then we can focus on whatever and we just got to get to the rest of their country how many more victory points do they have they have at this point they have 59 percent we'll change that shortly once we destroy all these divisions they have here in the north western part well northeastern part of the country that's the game plan once all is said and done we'll make iran and the true shield states a puppet state well both of them will be puppet states of georgia that is the game plan to sort these divisions now get them out of the picture they're gone one division should be able to handle that. You go ahead and take Meshed. Capture that, please. Get the Shiraz. What other cities do we need at this point? Can they maybe... I think they have a focus that allows them... Okay, they're not going to do it. They have a focus, I think, that allows them to fight the Dominion of Delhi. But I don't think they're going to do it since they're so busy fighting us. So that division is going to be encircled. Illyria has capitulated. So they've lost to Austria and Serbia, essentially, it seems. It looks like their allies are keeping them somewhat alive, though. And what is going on in Sicily? What is that? Oh, it's Canada versus... Is that Canadian troops? What is happening there? That is just confusing. Those color... Those country colors are just... Those country colors are just very similar. Not gonna lie. And keep pushing here. Come on. Move through the northeastern part of the country more. Deploy this division. And request these forces. I need two divisions from the Turkish commune. You guys are gonna have to help us out. Thank you. Grab them. Go. What division is this? Oh, this is a oh, this is a new division we have. Good. Bring them down. Form a new army or something. Make army two. And it's like a mountaineer division. It looks like I think they are. Just move these mountaineers over here. Have them fight those encircled units, and then we can do whatever we want after that. So take these Turkish divisions, grab them. That's they are making armor divisions. Why are they making armor divisions? We didn't ask them to do that. Whatever. Just encircle these guys here. Get it done. And circle them before they can escape. No escape from the encirclement. No escape. These guys here, you gotta trap them more. Please get the encirclement established. Pin down these units here. Get these encirclement. Just seal them off. Just prevent them from having any kind of rescue. That is gonna be ideal for just making a pocket here. So one did get away, I think. Oh well. One division got annihilated at the same time. Focus on them once out of encircle. What are you doing? Focus on them. Focus on the encircled troops. Destroy them. Just destroy them. Go. Yeah, do that. Capture this province also. What are these guys doing here? They're moving away. Capture the province. Some of these places just need to be captured so we don't have to keep track of them constantly. Okay, so so that's like the third, no, the fourth division we've encircled and destroyed belonging to Iran at this point. Which is good. But we just gotta keep doing that in order to win the war, probably. Now in the focus tree, let us start doing, say, what can we do here? Support companies. Get that done. Yes. And push here. Mished is just going to have to be what it is. And move down here more. Come on, get the Shiraz. I just want to get this over with. I want to fight. I want to face the North Caucasian Amamate soon enough. We just need to win the war and get it done. So grab these divisions here. Move them down south more. Yes. Come on, we got to win this war. It doesn't really matter if we take Iraq or not. It would just kind of go along with Iran once it falls. And now let me start justifying on the North Caucasian Amamate. And that will take 40 days to do. Construction 4 is done. Good. Can you please get to the city? My goodness, they're trying to launch more counter-offensives now. Just fend them off, please. Defeat them. Take these divisions here. Move down here. you got to capture that city. You have to capture the city. Go. Get to the city. Hold the city. Win the war. Can't be that hard. I would think so, anyway. They're losing so many soldiers at a time. Be more aggressive. Okay, we're having supply issues. It is evident those supply issues are really, really bad right now. Can you please... Let me see here, though. They are at... They control 47% of their victory points. we got to make it less than 20. Moving these Ottoman tank divisions of value, whose value I don't really understand. Just move them in here regardless. And just try and drive back the enemies. So, hopefully by the time everything works out, we should be ready to face... Actually, no. Just cancel the justification for now. Okay, yeah, just cancel. I don't know. I can't predict when the Republic of Iran, the Socialist Republic of Iran, will go down at a good enough time for us. Just keep advancing and keep hoping they put down, like, five more divisions. They put five divisions on Kurdistan. I'm not, in, I'm not going to attack from Kurdistan. It's not going to happen, guys. It's not going to happen. Why do you keep putting divisions there? Oh, my goodness gracious. Whatever. Just roll in. 
Take this land here. Get to that city. Is this part of their territory? Yes, it is. Khuzestan, capture that. We've got to capture the more southern part of Iran at this point. Because that is where the bulk of their troops remain. We'll capture Kurdistan very soon. And once we defeat the forces of Iran, we'll give over all this territory Kurdistan has claims on to them. And then make Iraq their own state. And make Iran into a puppet and take over the Trucial states. And put a totalist leader in charge of that region. And that is our long-term plans. So well, that is our conquest plans for once this war is over with. And we are winning, so it's only a matter of time. Now let's start doing Excavation 4. That would take like 211 days, which is not short at all, but we should get there very soon, I would think. Well, not too soon, but it just, it could be longer. I'll just leave it at that. And we just need to punch through here. Punch their lines. My goodness. Get through their lines. Go, please. Come on. Come on. Get there. Get there. Shiraz has to fall. It must fall to our forces of the Georgian Socialist State, led by Yosef Jagashvili, who is the chairman of the ever-expanding totalist regime of Georgia. And the Icelandic Union State has capitulated. Did we get some units encircled? We did. How do we manage that? Oh my goodness gracious, that is ridiculous. Rescue yourself. Just go out of that province and do whatever. Oh, they can't just do that. Never mind. Just push through. My goodness, can't be that hard. It can't be that hard. Just get through the lines. Get through the lines. Go. Go. Punch through them. Just get through those defenses like we need you to do. And just cut off this land from the other land. Just take over Khuzestan for our sake. How much victory points is this? Five? Okay, we reconnected those troops. How many more victory points do they have? It's over. It's over. It is over. That is it. It's it. Now, Armenia is ours. And... That is that. So take Armenia, take over Iran. I guess the Trucial States is going to be on their own. How does that work? Is it? Oh no, they just they don't get a peace deal at all. So I guess edited George Bush portrait leader of the Socialist Federation of the Gulf just sticks around doing their own thing. All right, I can live with that. We didn't take their lands anyway, so that's fair. That is fair. Grab these units here. Now I got to start justifying on the. Imamate, the North Caucasian Imamate, who's, that is who we're going to fight next, because we want Abkhazia back, they got it from us ages ago, it seems, back when, back when we were fighting Azerbaijan, the fate of Armenia, just military occupation is what we're going to do, done, and now the fate of Persia, liberate it, that is that, and we'll hand over Kurdish lands, Yes, give that land to Turkey. I mean, Kurdistan. Return our lands to them. That is done. So we have a big Kurdistan now. Very big Kurdistan. And we had to get our troops in position here. I gotta spread my units out a bit more. This is actually not a very good way of doing things. So first off, take all... Let me just do this. Take all these. Actually, no, keep them. Just, yeah, keep them. And what can I do here? Support companies is nearly done. Like a few more days. We'll just let it be finished. Take a bunch of divisions here. Divide them up. So how can we do this? Eight divisions per line. Crete has capitulated. They were part of the German Empire's sphere of influence. Eight divisions and all. Get rid of that order, please. Put eight divisions over here. Yes, there we go. Support companies is done. Now what is this? The fate of Iraq, make it a puppet. Yes, release it. Or no. Let's just split it between the Arabs and the Assyrians. Yeah, do that. Yeah, sure. And that is that. So at this point, who gets this then? Khuzestan. I guess we give it over to, we give it over to someone else. Who get? Okay. So I guess we'll give that to someone else. The fate of Khuzestan. Give it to, I don't know. Give it to Iraq. Yes. That is done. So now we have Iraq. We have the Iraqi Socialist Republic, Iran, and Assyrian. Well, the Assyrian Union as puppets of the Georgian Socialist State at this point. And in the focus tree, let's start doing Uniting the People, and that'll be done, because we control Yerevan now, effectively, which is Armenia. So let me pause here briefly to move these divisions around slightly. So we have eight divisions where they need to be. Now we need eight divisions in that center line. And then we need, let me see here, eight divisions, come on. The eight divisions are set up there. Get this offensive line drawn up. That is done. 
Get this offensive line drawn up as well. And we'll have these units move in as quickly as possible on the western line. We'll have the central front, the western front, and the eastern front. Just do the how to natural geography of Georgia and Azerbaijan. Well, the territory of the Georgian social estate works in terms of mountains and impassable territory being everywhere. So take these units here and move them like this and have them push there, yes, and have the second army back up the eastern front since that could help out quite a bit, I imagine, with those Ottoman armored units. There we go. So that is done. And when should we be ready to face the North Caucasian Amami? We have a few more days. The 7th of August. So like less than a month, effectively, at this point. Just get the, division, get the divisions in the right place, and we'll be ready to go. Now, complete mechanized offensive. That will be done shortly. And that will be... I guess, well, mechanized offensive. Oh, that was just something to do with the army doctrine, wasn't it? Or was it? Let me see. Never mind, I was done. Okay, forget that then. And with all that going on, I think I'm going to end what is part 11 of my Georgia Stalin Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.